from Cape Coral. Yay! It worked. It worked. It this worked. Time. Yay! On the first try. <laughs> We're getting better. <laughs> you know what we don't have? We don't have the uh, the microphone stuck there, but okay. Maybe you guys can hear us good. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us good, and we'll get started if you guys can. We need, we, need, we need to lower them. Echo, echo, echo. Echo, 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 echo. There we go. <laughs> so I hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. We definitely did. Uh, we had all kinds of fun. We went to my parents. We went to a football game. Uh, the Gators uh, there in Gainesville. It was your first football that game. That was my first football game. And my butt was numb. <laughs> that we, hurt. We brought chairs. <laughs> yeah, but we did. you know what? But happened? the police officer said, mm -mm, nay, nay, with that. Apparently, you cannot take the chairs. Metal, because they were metal. Because they were metal. You can so take this. So, if you all this. have your metal chairs, you sell can't it. take them into the stadium anymore. So, we had to leave them. We actually had to hide them and then come back later to, to get them. So. Yeah, I'm a, uh, my son was the only one who was able to go in with the chair because it was all like foam. Yeah, it was a yeah. foam one, if yeah. If it's that one of those, you can get in, but maybe they thought that we were going to throw chairs or something, I don't know. Okay. But maybe we were the only, <laughs> the only three with chairs. <laughs> Should have I given know. Us all. That was it not was, fun. That was not, that was not fun. So, while we get people here at, at C2 here, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and bring the microphone just so that we have better audio. Yeah. So, um, hey, if Paul or Johnny, if you can hear us, say something. If not, we will uh, we'll put the microphone. Maybe that would help. All right. Hey, TPI, how are you, Mark? I'm going to give you a little shout out today and, and talk about the GoFundMe. Is that still going on strong? Because I'll send people to your channel, of course. Yep, yeah, they can hear us. Loud and clear. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't need to go anywhere. I'll stay here with you. Just stay here. Stay here with you. You're loud enough. So far, you know another thing that we did last week? We asked people to give us a, um, a good title. For, a good name. And so far, the one that came up with the best one so far was Mark from TPI. So oh, really? Mark, so far you are you 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 uh, you're the winner so far. You you're ahead. So um, we love we love your idea and we might use something similar to that. So so far you we like yours the best. Okay. We're tweaking maybe maybe. What's that? We're tweaking it. Maybe. We're tweaking maybe. it. Yeah. Yeah, we're tweaking it. Yeah. So we have Boris and we have Glenn all right. But Paul, it's their Paul's in the house. Who's that? Who's the first one there? Boris. Yeah, Boris never misses yeah, a just, beat. I yeah. always. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's okay. It's the same person. Who? With Paul or Boris? I said Paul. Oh, Boris is also in the, Boris is, is in the house. Boris is different. So then we have Paul, Boris. Well, you're in the house. You're Thank you so much for being there. We don't have it together yet. <laughs> Too much but we for agree you. that Too you're in the house. You're in the house. <laughs> You are in the house. Also, here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny's Skip. Yes. Is this Danny Johnny, right? Yes. Okay, we got that I one, got right? it. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> and Skip is here. Usually, Steph is here, but Skip is here today. No Steph. No Steph. She's All in right. She's, she's powdering her nose. <laughs> so, she's busy. Hello, Skip. We're glad to have you. We have Kentucky Piper here, smoking KY Piper. Signa Mount Tony. Oh, they're just just they're just coming they're in now. Coming. Yeah. We had a slow start and then people are coming here. So we have Glenn. Glenn, I was gonna make you I don't think I don't know if I can do it here. I was gonna make you a um a what do you call those things? A moderator. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna make you blue there, Glenn. Okay, Farik Piper. Skip says, I love naming stuff, but came in halfway through. So what's the details on the name? Yes, okay, thank you, Skip. So what we did last one, last live was we, we're gonna give a gift to someone that can help us with a name for this live. 
that we're doing on Wednesdays. Instead of saying Wednesday live. We wanted to say something, you know, and uh, so if you have a good idea of to name our lives on Wednesday, we will definitely welcome it and, and just send you something in return. We only had actually two people send us an email with it. Um, so you can, you can say it here. You can send it to flatcatpiper at AOL.com. I'll write it in here. All right, you keep saying hi to people. Yep, I think we have said, every time I say a name, you say no. <laughs> so I don't want to say any names. No, no, go ahead. Uh, Drug Bear Woodward. Uh, you know who that is? I'll tell you who that is. It's Drug Bear. That's Glenn. Thank you. <laughs> and See, the, every time I say the name, because I know by this name, you know their personal that's name. That's okay. Hey, they, they, they get, your personal they get high twice. <laughs> <laughs> One from me. That's right. <laughs> And we have Tony, Signalman Tony from Rhode Island. Oh. I'm going to write my email here, guys, in case somebody wants to send me an email with a good live With a name. recommendation. Yeah. But something that is nice and catchy. Not... That's okay. <laughs> if you send something funny, I'll laugh. We won't use it, but we'll laugh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. There you go. And today, we're going to smoke... When we get about 20 in the house, we'll call a bowl call and see what you guys All are smoking. Right. But today we're going to smoke. If you guys were with us last Wednesday, we had an amazing, an amazing tobacco by Frank Green called Plisken. Plis Plis right? Plisken. Plis and uh, so he sent us something else. Uh, this is things, uh, I wonder if he blend this one himself too. But he called this BTLC, Big Trouble in Little China. So everything is from that movie. Because okay. Pliskin was the character, right? I don't know. I think that, never mind. Yeah. Because I haven't confused. It's the same person, Kurt uh -huh. Russell, but I haven't confused his name with those kids from New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> so apparently that Pliskin was a guy, the okay. person in the movie. I need to see the movie. I haven't seen I have, it I've never seen it. Has anybody seen it? I've never seen Big Trouble in Little China. But anyway, it's, it's a Balkan. And so we're going to, that's what we're going to try Scott today. Scott said that he loves that movie. Which one? Big Trouble in Little China or Escape from New York? Which one? Which one there, Scott? Is it Scott? Clarify. Yes, is it Scott? Clarify. Clarify, sorry. See, Blinken was the character from Escape from New York. See? Oh, okay. All right, but it's Pliskin. The, the, this, oh. is, this is the name of the blend that he, he named. He tweaked it then. He tweaked it. Pliskin. Let, let me look it up. I think it's Pliskin. Okay, so Scott says that his favorite movie is Big Trouble. There you go. Yeah, Pliskin. Uh, let, I'm going to look. I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back. Pliskin. I wrote it exactly how he wrote it. And that one was the one from 2015. And that was the one that we really, really liked. They had the raspberry. Yeah, guys, the this one. was so good. He had... I don't oh, know it was how, amazing. I don't know if you, they can see it. Um, he had... He yeah, it's, la it's larakia and like a, like a raspberry topping. Yes. Oh, and that was delicious. I have to get him. He was kind of smoking, and we're supposed to rate other other ones, and he's you he didn't want to give it up. No, I didn't want to give that he one up. It was so good. The second one that he was the same thing, the same thing, but it was missing a topping. I don't yeah. know what it was. Yeah. And it was good, but not as good as that. Yeah, that this was just days. excellent. So I'm going to break it down a little bit of this Balkan blend. You want to give it a whiff and tell us what you think? Here you go. Oh, this is kind of dry. So here you go. 20 in the house. So tell you guys what are you smoking today? You're drinking or smoking and drinking. Wait a minute. I, I need a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You need a minute. So what she smells that you guys tell us what you're going to join us today with. I'm having some, what is this, Kool-Aid grape or something? Oh, that's, like? that's grape. Grape. Yeah. I'm that having zero calorie. <laughs> I'm having a zero calorie grape uh, drink with uh, this Balkan that we're going to try. <laughs> and I'm having water. That's You're having water. That's all I'm having. Wow, that is very strong. So Scott is drinking some Gawath uh, and how. Bussum cut plug in a cob. All right. And Tony's having some LJ Peretti London Flake. Oh. 
And Glenn, a coffee and a horizontal disposable tobacco burning device, straight Virginia. Right. I don't know to me. It's just that he's repeating myself, but it's like a very campfire, like this one's very woodsy. Okay, so that probably has some Latakia. I see Latakia and Orientals here in the mix. Since we already had them by themselves, you know, now we can tell what they look like. So I'm going to have my Dolomite pipe, which has become one of my favorites. Thanks to our friend Levi Bennett, who gifted it to me. And here you go. You, you can, you can, you can. I would say that, that Johnny Oscar says it was drinking some cough bro dunkel. What is that, beer? This but is he's what not smoking this tonight. Balkan looks like. Here what you is that? Oh, you already did that. Yep. Yeah, I'll do my so, Oh, what am I, what am I Cough bro dunkel. No smoking. Okay. I don't know what that, what that, what that is. Oh, that one, one. Yeah, that's a Savinelli. Tiger or something having to do with tiger. Oh yeah, because this is black and. And it's a filter pipe. Oh, thank you. It's a filter pipe. You Love wanted filter. a filter pipe. Yes. Love that filter. And John is having some German beer. Is that All what right. it is? German. That, yeah. uh, it sounded like yeah. beer. That Hofbro Dunkel. I don't know if I. Bless you. But I butcher <laughs> it, but something like that. My my dad in his way back days he loved only german beers really for some reason yeah i think his favorite one was pabs i think but i could be wrong was that when he was in the army yeah uh, he's not good he doesn't drink no oh this is johnny that oh he, he's asking if it's wheat beer wheat? i guess they make it out of wheat so the smoking guy was just saying hi before supper. Hi, have a nice supper. All right. What, what's, what's cooking? What's cooking? Yeah, what are you eating tonight? I already had something to eat. Sometimes I don't have time from the time I get to work, but today I, I had some time to eat. So did any of you take advantage of the free Costello giveaway? Who does not know about this Costello giveaway going on with the Briar Report? Does anybody not know about it? Manfold Mike does not. We have somebody. If somebody says Castillo, Giveaway says Costello. 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 Costello giveaway. I guess he doesn't know. Tell us about it. Hello, Mindful Mike. Actually, I was gonna. I, I, I was gonna give you a shout out later, but since you're already here, our new presenters, I always like at the end to give a little shout out. And today is Mindful Mike. He's here with us. Guys, if you haven't subbed to him, you know, he has a. Pipe channel, I think this has been going on for about four months. Nice guy, about 93 subscribers. Hey, check him out. He's welcome to the to our show, Mike. And giving a big welcome to Mindful Mike. He's right here live with us. Awesome. Thanks, Mike, for coming Thank along. Thank you. Thank you for joining. If you don't mind, what 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 is uh, type oh. of show? All right, Mark, we'll see you later. So we'll, we'll, we'll get in touch later, all right. What's that? Tell us what Mike's show is, is, um, is about. Is oh. Just, just reviewing? Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's been talking about some tobacco uh, blends that he likes. Okay. Um, today's video, I, w I was almost halfway there. You were talking about things about life. I, I didn't get through it because this started um, but check him out he's a young guy and um, give him some YTPC love there I think he got some gifts from Steve in one of his videos and smoking cardboard well they're talking about Steve there's Steve Puerto Rican chicken is that what you're eating some Puerto Rican hey, Steve. chicken 
You say you think, you're not sure if it's from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Are you sure it's chicken? <laughs> Are you sure it's chicken? <laughs> we, might have, we better ask the wife, what did you cook? He don't even know what he's eating, but he's uh -oh. eating it. He's a good boy. Mine went out. Are you having trouble with mm -hmm. yours? Okay. But thank God, because I was going to feel like I'm having problems here. I think this is my third time doing this. So no, I'm having a little trouble getting it on. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get it. Eventually. Mama's chicken. Okay. Mm. Well, is it good? It's okay, Mike. You're not late. We're smoking a blend that was sent to us. Oh, by yeah. a blender that last week he did something amazing. So today he wanted to try us this Balkan and he calls Built Trouble in Little China. BTLC. BTLC. We After tried the movie. Last, last week was Clean Skin. Clean, clean skinny. skinny. It was really good. It was good. really good. Mm, smells good. Well, is it like a, como se, like a guisado? Is it like a, what is that type a of stew? Is it like a chicken stew? Chicken stew, chicken fricassee. All right, so for the ones that don't know about the Castello giveaway, so there's a Castello giveaway going on. You have to do a, a VR to the Briar Report, uh, kind of talking about, you know, getting people to subscribe to the Briar Report. Definitely subscribe because guess what? They're going to announce the winner on the newsletter next Tuesday, the 14th. A winner of a Castello. It's free. You have to do nothing else. But subscribe to the Brad Report and do a video. And you can send the, the video to, to Mike. So it's Mike at Briar Blues. Um, that's his email. And you're in for a, for a Castello. Is that easy? Hello, three strings. Three strings, Piper is in the house. Hey there. There you go. A pipe smoker is never late. <laughs> So we're having a little trouble lighting this up. Uh, so staying lit. Yeah, we're not staying lit today. It's not staying lit. I can definitely taste the, the Orientals. Frank Green is not here today, but he's the one who blended it. Mm -hmm. And um, actually it's pretty good. I wish it would stay lit. I think mine is going finally. So what did you all do, in, was it um, Monday? Labor Day? Yeah, tell us some of your Labor, Labor Day, Day stuff, guys. What did y'all do that it was fun? And did, what, did, did you smoke? And what did you smoke? Is, is Eden here? I didn't see him, but he says Eden. Oh, there you go, my pipe and I. Eden is here. Hi, Eden. Eden's in the house. I think now it's going, maybe. We have a lot of fans going on so we don't get hot. That might be a problem. I rather not be hot. It's so, take longer to you know hot. what Johnny did on Labor Day? He watched Pop in the Tin. He's a good boy. I like Johnny. I did too. <laughs> no, I did. I think I did. <laughs> I do remember what we did last week. So, so Skip I visited us. Skip visited some friends, no smoking. Oh, okay. Anybody else did anything fun on this long weekend? You know, now with all this COVID stuff, you, you just don't, don't do the stuff that you used to do to go out as much. At least from the people I talk to, like, for example, when I asked my patients today and yesterday what they did for Labor Day weekend, None of them said that they went out or anything. It was just like any other weekend to them. You guys should have seen the the football field, the game. Well, that was I don't cool. think there was a single person. When I was in uh, Monday, but there was a single person with a mask. Oh, I yeah. think we were like all like, we don't care. We want to party and have a good time. I, that was one of the things that I really did like about it. Mm -hmm. Was that everybody was like very friendly, people that you don't know, they're just talking to you and helping you out and yeah. you know, and it was like everybody was just so happy to be out. Yeah. 
It they was, were friendly for the first time. There was the there were eighty eight thousand in the yeah. stadium. The stadium can the capacity is ninety some thousand, and they yeah, were eighty eight thousand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No masks. People were having fun. Tristan Piper said he made his first custom corn cob. Are you gonna show us a video? Are you doing a video to show people? We like to see that. that that's awesome. That is awesome. awesome. I wish I had the skill to do that. Yeah, you know, um, there used to be a time when uh, Four Eye Piper used to do uh, a lot of the lives, and one of the things he did, which I think was a great idea, was he told everybody to just look who's there and to sub each other. And that way, you know, you started to, to learn some of the people, you know, that are, you know, frequent. Mm -hmm. So guys, you know, that's an option. If you see somebody here that you don't know, and you can check out their channel, you know, write their name, and if it's a channel that, of course, has videos and you want to sub to them, then, you know, you're welcome and sub it. That way you get to know them a little better. Absolutely. Mindful Mike says it was very nice. It was just another day to relax. That's what I thought, too. Yes. Justin Pyre says, yes, I guess it's time to start making some videos. Yeah. You know that's, yeah, a, that, that's that, a good day for that. that. That's a good icebreaker to to show that corn cob that you made. Mm -hmm. I think people would like to see that. That's would it be nice if they well, no, people don't want to show what they do. You know, but it would have been nice for him to start, oh, start making it. A lot of people do that. A lot they of do people, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I was yeah. asking somebody who was Larry, and I said you should have like a little camera here oh. on the. Just a little, just a sample so that, that you can see. But he sometimes has, it's busy. But he has a business, so that's different. You know, he has a business and he has some. He was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's some tricks of the trade yeah, there, but but no, the, most of the people that YTPC, when they make, you know, something, they show it and it's kind of fun. Definitely. You see, uh, Eden would love to see the, the corn cob. Yeah, mindful Mike saying about the mask mm -hmm. mandate. Oh my gosh, it, 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 I, I'm tired of it. Yeah. I am so over it. Glenn said there's no Labor Day weekend in Australia, but he carved the spoon for fun. Well, good, you okay. carved the spoon. Are you gonna show us that one video? I think who carved the spoon was it um, James Dumbo, right? I think he, he, he was doing some woodwork there. All right, Eden, what? we're smoking the Brick yeah. Trouble in Little China given to us by Frank Green. It is a Balkan. It is um, it is rough. It's on the rough side, kind it of is. strong. It is stronger than the previous two that they've Yeah. The plants, the, it, it is so this is one for some of you that like something a little bit on the strong side, yeah. for sure. Want a little um, it has it. It really does. It's not soft and sweet and uh, or it doesn't have any aromatics on it. No, no, no. Because I, yeah, it doesn't. No, it's, it's very straight, strong. No topping. Yeah, and as soon as I smell it, it's just immediately campfire. Yeah. Woodsy, so um, we're gonna earthy. give we're yeah. gonna give him our thoughts on this one. Mm -hmm. On the rough side, not bad, but definitely something more for the people that that want something a little stronger. Uh, <laughs> Paul, you you uh, that's that sounds fun, Paul. I wish everybody did that. Yes, God, it's giving us a big trouble. If we can keep it light, lit, yeah, it just keep turning off. Well, guys, what, I, what I'm working on, and actually, um, uh, Mindful Mike, I did this for you already. I'm putting all the videos of the introductions as little by little as I find them under a playlist so that when you guys go to the Brian Report, there is a little section there that has a picture of us like pointing to a, to a laptop screen and says, like, welcome to the YTPC. And eventually, I'm going to try to put everybody's introduction video there. Ooh. Definitely, if you don't want it there, let me know. Uh, but I'm gonna go little by little and add them. I think we have a lot, about 50 or 60 already in there. Uh, when we did the five question um, introduction, and then I'm, I'll keep adding them little by little. Uh, mindful, uh, Mike, yours should be there already. So you can check it out, priorreport.org. Uh, you should be in that section of, of uh, Welcome to the YTPC. All right. Well, the Big Trouble in Little China actually is, it is strong. Uh -huh. I keep reaching for the water. Yeah. Just to kind of tone it down. Tone it down a little bit. All right. Well, we're going to try something else. While we do that, we wanted to show, uh, talk about some other things going on. 
definitely guys subscribe to the Brian report uh, so you don't miss out on giveaways like this Castello um, there's gonna be a new section now in the Brian report I got this inside information he told me today it's kind of an inside information nobody knows about it not even him nobody <laughs> you <laughs> so it is that he's gonna start doing a section that he had before called letters to the editor and that's gonna start coming as a monthly thing um, so definitely check out the next newsletter this Tuesday because it's gonna talk a little bit more about that section called letters to the editor so that's something new okay and something that's coming up tomorrow how many people here know Jack the Piper and Dale Piper I'm sure you everybody knows who those people are Jack the Piper and Dale Piper if you don't you got to subscribe to them okay because tomorrow there's gonna be a movie that they're that a short movie that they made oh Jack the Piper did a short movie with Dale Piper be on the lookout tomorrow Thursday should be uploaded get your popcorn and your nachos with cheese don't know how long it is but if you've seen anything by jack the piper he does some good stuff so tomorrow thursday be on the lookout for a movie featuring jack the piper and dale piper awesome all right so write all this stuff down we're giving you a bunch of information here all right so i like that idea so guys, I have not tried any of this, and you haven't either. So, should we try Presbyterian or Father Dempsey? We were gifted this by our friend Hobbiton Piper, Kevin. And he gave me those little labels like that. I love them. I told him that he can give me a... I'll trade him tobacco for labels, because I can make it myself, but he knows how to make them. Which one should we try? I've never tried any of these, and I'm gonna try them today for the first time. We have one bowl for Presbyterian, one for Father Dempsey. Let's see. Whichever gets to three first, that's the one that we're gonna pick. One to one. Come on, give us another boat. Presbyterian gets to both. Father Dempsey, two to two. And three, follow them, see wings. Okay. <laughs> I was about to open Presbyterian. All right, Father Dempsey is the winner. Kramer's Father Dempsey, I've never had it. Okay. Guys, tell us a little bit about it. Let's see. Well, I don't have your lid. I got the lid. I got that one. Oh, this looks good. It looks good. It smells good. We'll it has see. a little moisture in there. Good. The other one was kind of dry. Oh, wow. So you good. just finished a bottle of Father Dempsey, Skip. Well, that's interesting. We were connected somehow. I, I'm, th I'm trying to think of what it smells like. Hold on. You got Father Dempsey a week ago. All right. Well, let's see. Let's give it a shot and see what we find here. It smells like, like raisin pudding. Oh, okay. Yeah, like with a little rum or something in there. Oh, oh. those those. I don't know, maybe I'm hungry. I don't know, but maybe I want it. She's starting to smell food in it, <laughs> rum and stuff. I'm... Well, this is when you guys tell us what it is, because I did no research on it, nothing. Whatsoever. All we right. just, We just said, let's let speak see, to... Let me see, what's the name again? I, I'll look. Father them, see the, 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 the flakes are kind of, kind of on, the, on the large side. All right. And it's very colorful. All right, so they're helping Eden search for Mindful Mike while he does that. We, we, we're going we're gonna to lower a bowl of Father Dempsey. Let me get two new pipes. I hope I got the right one. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we have an LCS briar here. Long it, has, it says it has Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, and yeah. Virginia. All right. Well, that should be a good one. Uh, we have the style that our friend John Matches used to like. And we have one from our friend Simon, LCS briar. You have a pick? Which one you want, darling? 
I They're both filtered. Okay, there you go. This will be mine. Yeah, I like these little Yeah, that is, okay. that is beautiful. Well, I love this pipe by Simon, so I'm glad I'm gonna, you chose that one. Awesome. Rusty's in the house, I miss them. Hello, Rusty. Thanks for joining us. Whoop, whoop. And Scott says, Father Dems is good stuff. All right. Well, we're gonna try it now. We're gonna try it and see what See how much we like it. Hello, Rusty. Hello. There you go. Okay, so mine for Mike says that out of the two, Presbyterian is his favorite. Okay. It's easy to smoke and such a flavorful smoke. Thank you, Mike. All right. Well, you know what? Sometimes we smoke about three different blends in the yeah. life, so we, we'll probably get to Presbyterian. <laughs> Kareem Piper says, the Turkish was coming through a strong today's Wait. That's not always the case. Not so, always the case. So okay. the Turkish on this um, on this Father Dempsey. All right. Okay. So we're trying Father Dempsey first and see how it goes. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Mindful of his stop. Yeah, so he subbed to Mindful Mike. Hey, Mindful oh, Mike. Oh, good. By the end of tonight, you might have 100 subs. There you go. See? YTPC, they're, they're, is, they're awesome. When would you taste something delicious like Babers? Give me a recommendation of a good Baber there, Boris, and we we might do a pop in the tin on it. Give me a good recommendation, Boris. What? Give me about three Babers. The first slide I like that IKEA came through. That's usually a winner for me. Oh no, this is better. Pure Virginia. This is better. SG. It's very soft and it has a good it leaves a good flavor in your in your palate. Mm -hmm. I would like to say it's tasty. <laughs> it's tasty. Sam Goworth, okay, Virginia. You're Virginia, I don't have any of that. Uh-oh, I may be out. Escudo, I have some Escudo. Mm -hmm. I've been selling it for about a year. See, so it probably has two years age on it, you know, from the Thin and then my aging. Pipe Brazil's in the house. Hello, Pipe Brazil. Hello there. You had a nice shout out today from Nathan, I think, gave you a shout out. Um, let my camera go. I'm glad you're here to join us. Thanks for being here. Tommaso, is that his friend? Tommaso? So Pure Virginia from Sam Goweth is, is awesome. Well, I'm gonna have to make a note and, and try it. I don't, I don't think I have any, if I have something Samuel Goweth, it'll be, I'm not sure, I have to check. I don't think I have very many stuff from him. So it was a surprise that you got a shout out from Let My Camera Go, he's a great guy. We met him personally at the Ohio Pipe Show and Nathan is just an outstanding person. It's Tommy then. Tommaso, but you can call me Tommy. Tommy. All right. There you go. Tommy. Tommy for I sure. I like this one. You like this one? All right. So, so far, Father Dempsey is getting good grades here from Lady Fire. It's little trouble from Father Dempsey. I, I, it lit pretty fast. I think all the all the bands are making this hard. So if, if Great you see that, flavor and it's, it's, yeah, that probably is because my. If you see that, you can put your hand over a little bit like that, and it will keep it from going out so fast. Oh, I like this one, guys. Good. 
Another one that we can add to the ones we like. Somebody asked, uh, what is this blend? The one that we're doing? Okay, so here we're doing now Father Kramer's. Kramer's Father Dempsey. It was sent to us by Hobbiton Piper. Mm -hmm. He sent it to me with the, with the labels. And I already said this, but I absolutely love those labels. I'm gonna see how I can convince him to trade me tobacco. Uh, I'll give him tobacco and he sends me labels so I can label all my stuff with his free labels. I, That's a good trade. I don't know, I, I just don't know how to do them and he's really good at it. Yeah, Father Dempsey. All right, keep in mind, this is gonna be a little hard. Mm -hmm. So, did any of you guys, uh, well, before we forget, because we don't wanna forget, next Wednesday, guys, as the word, I've seen a lot of videos. Next Wednesday, around this time, we we'll actually will do it at 8 p.m. We're gonna do smoke rings around the world. This was started by Armchair Piper, our friend Ed. I think everybody knows him. If not, go give him a sub. He is a nice guy. Uh, Armchair Piper, he has one of the biggest collections of pipes I ever seen. Um, and he's just a nice fellow. So he wanted everybody around the world. He has some friends, you know, across the pond and here to around 8 p.m., you know, their time, our times, to smoke uh, and try to blow rings. So at that time, we're gonna be here live, we'll try to turn off all the fans. And <laughs> we're gonna have to. Because the blowing rings is hard with fans on, and we're gonna be blowing smoke rings. Me and, here, you been practicing hard? I, no, you have. <laughs> I have not, because I know I suck at it. So why, I let the pros, I'll watch. That's okay, you can just blow. I'll, I'll try to ring, I'm not that good either. So, you know, I, I, I was, I was thinking about bringing donuts and like pretending it's the donuts. <laughs> we'll <laughs> give it our best <laughs> shot. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of people are gonna participate. If you guys wanna participate, you can be here at the lab, you can do it at your house, whatever. It's just kind of a community thing for everybody to be blowing smoke rings. It's not a competition. And I think it'll be kind of a nice thing. Support our friend there, Armchair Piper. He came up with the idea, and I think it's a nice idea. So Wednesday, September 15 at 8 p.m., oh. we will be blowing smoke rings. Because if you don't participate, you know what's gonna happen, right? He says you don't go to heaven, so, uh oh Not going to go to heaven. Oh, here we go. So Boris gave us a list. We're gonna have to write this down. All right, hmm. you wanna write them? Hopefully my pen is. So Boris says, there you go. Some are some of the good babers. All Virginia right. Burleys. HH Burley. I think you have them right there. Peterson three piece. Irish flake. And Stonehaven. Got it. I also have to be secretary around here. Mike says we should do a pop in the tin on Briar Fox. You know, oh. that's a lot of people say that's a good one, but you know what, Mike? I don't have any. I don't know if it is it easy. I saw some at the show. I should have grabbed some. They had some at the show and I didn't grab any. What's the name again? Briar Fox. Hey, Ed, we just made an announcement about hey, you. We're going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the announcement about the smoke ring, Ed? I just, I just made it. You, you may have missed it by a minute. Yeah. Well, here it is. I'm sure Piper is in the house. It's his idea. Hello, medic man. Nice of you to join us. All right. Say hi to each other there while I... I'm going to try this again. Do this again. Mmm, I like it. Father Dempsey's a winner. Well, Ed, you just missed it. I'll give you a summary. We told everybody next Wednesday, 8 p.m., right here or in your house, smoke rings will be blown. And we warn them. And we warn them that we suck. No, that's Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Oh, well, I warn them that I suck, but I warn them 
that if they don't participate and they're not there at 8 o'clock, they're not going to go to heaven. Oh, yeah, she did say that. I did tell them. Yeah. <laughs> also, Ed, don't miss tomorrow. There's going to be a movie made yeah. by Jack the Piper uh, who has Dale Piper in it. So definitely check that out. It's going to be uploaded tomorrow. Barely not Bob is He's in the house. house. Woo -woo. How are you? Now, did anybody see last week we yes. recommended a movie? Yes, he we was did. he was called Gringo from Amazon Prime. Did anybody see it? We have somebody who sent me an email who actually saw the movie and absolutely loved it. It was good. Phil from Briar Report said he saw it and he says normally he falls asleep, but he definitely liked the movie and enjoyed it. You know, that's exactly because I'm one of those people that if, if he's not really, really interested and I don't get any action right away, I'm out. I mean, like, I'm dozing off. But this movie was so interesting, interesting, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, that I just kept going and instead of running to don't know what, what was going to happen. So yeah. it was funny and it was had a lot of action and, and it was very, very, very interesting. I'm glad he liked it. Thank you, Phil. Yes. So did anybody else see it now? I'm sure Piper is giving us a good advice. He says for the smoke ring, he says, don't suck, blow. We will be sucking, blowing. I mean, this sounds terrible, it's, but. This is going to be like a fire hazard. We, we will do our best <laughs> next Wednesday. If you want to see a big mess of us, yeah. then join us. Um, and, you know, at least, we, we, we'll, at least we're going to try. So we'll give it a best shot. All right. So nobody saw the, the movie Gringo? Well, we have another recommendation for this week. Oh yes. Let, let me get let me If get you haven't seen there. Gringo, give it a shot. I think you guys will like it from Amazon Prime. Now this movie is, we saw it. is this also a movie from Amazon Prime? Yeah, it is also a movie that we saw there. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent Because this is the flick of the week. That's what we're gonna call this segment. Yeah. Flick of the week. This comes the segment with some background music. Just, na, 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 just na, na, na. imagine it. And this is the flick of the week. Is that what you're going to call it? Flick of the week. All right. She's calling it the flick of, the, flick of week. the week. So she has a recommendation. Yeah. So if this one is also from Amazon. Okay. Prime. All right. And actually, I was just, you know, going past, past, and I'm like, ah, let me do a little bit of, let me do the little preview. Let me, let me see it. And it caught my attention. And the reason for, for that, well, you will, I, I cannot tell you a lot about the movie because you have to see it. If not, I'll mess it up for you. Yeah. But it is called Monsters of Men. And it's, of course, I said it was from Amazon, Amazon Prime. And the summary really is a robotic company teams up with a corrupt CIA agent undergoing an illegal unsanctioned military operation. This is a man's kind of movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you, but you like men's kind of movie. You don't like chick flicks at all. No, I don't like. You like action. Crying and stuff. Like you me. like somebody to I be like action. shot in the first five seconds. Oh, exactly. And I, I like uh, strong female characters. Okay. I don't like wimpy women. <laughs> I'm just get there. There you go. Anyway, so they're dropping four prototype robots into a uh, suspected drug manufacturing camp in the Golden Triangle that no one will miss. The mission is to put the robotic company is worthy of winning a lucrative military contract. The actors were the four robot, robots. <laughs> okay. Those were the best actors. Those are the best actors, really. Um, so anyway, the, the known actor there was Neil Mac McDonough. I don't know how to, how to say his name. Okay. McDow. And he's in Band of Brothers and Minority Report. And you know that that that's it. it. I don't know any other movies that he he's been in, but it was very interesting. What did you think of it? I liked it. So this is a combination of think uh, Terminator and a Vietnam movie. And, yeah, you know, and and what? Well, no, not the robot. What is it called? Robocop. Mm. Oh. Well, kind of, sort of. Yeah, so... It, it, it is just a mixture of... Yeah, but it was very interesting. Yeah, it think, was different. Think of Terminator and, and a Vietnam movie and um, lots of action. Um, is that a movie for the intellectuals? That you're just gonna... Like, yeah, it's, it's just not... 
That it's just entertaining. That's what I. That's what I'm. It has a little bit of a twist. It's, yeah. Definitely a lot of action and uh. Absolutely. And a good moral at the end. So anyway, that's movie pick of the week is yes. uh, Monsters. What is it? Monsters of Men. Monsters of Men. Check it out and let yeah. us know next week if you saw it and if, if you guys have a movie for us. And if you think that it was bad, don't call us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us if you don't I, like it too. I just wasted an hour and a half because they told me it was good. No, we want to know. But at least you didn't go to the movies and pay, you know, how much how much money did you go to the movies? Oh. And it's, it's incredible. Yeah. If, if four. it's four people, you spend how much? Fifty, sixty dollars. Yeah. That is if you don't eat. You could spend a hundred dollars easy yeah. just and in the ticket. Six dollars for a bottle of water. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So this is movie. Get comfortable and just enjoy the flick. Now tomorrow I'm receiving a movie that I, it was actually somebody at a little bit a while back recommended to us. It was uh, called Green Book. Yeah, Green yeah, Book. Did somebody recommended that. Has anybody seen Green anyone Book? Anyone seen that? Because I bought it. It was only five bucks, so that was okay. Uh, I bought it, and the actor, one of the main actors there was um, Viggo Mortensen from The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's, I, I so, can't wait to see that one. Uh, I've been yeah. wanting to see that one. We'll let movie. you know how that goes. And if it was bad, I won't let you know how that goes. <laughs> so guys, this, yeah, this Father Dempsey, now when it's going, it's going. Yeah, mine kind of kind of like died down a little bit. It's smoky. But it's good. Like I said, it's flavorful. Mm -hmm. It's strong. It makes you feel that you are smoking something. Yeah, gringo really in, in Spanish is like a nap. That's what it means. Gringo, the rushes. Oh, oh, interesting. I knew that. There you go. We have some, some, some factual stuff. Oh, okay. Ed like Green Book and Rusty oh, okay. is explaining us a little bit about the movie Gringo now. There's a there's there's a few movies that are like Catch the Gringo or whatever. That's not it. This is a movie that just came out on Amazon yes. Prime not too long ago, and it's just Gringo, just Gringo. That's it. Yeah, maybe I can if I can find not the, the Gringo the or movie. Catch the Gringo, just no, Gringo. No, let me see. Good medic man. Yeah, I think if that's up your alley, you will like it. If you like robots, Terminator type yeah. robots, and if you like a, a Vietnam setting. Um, you will like this movie I for sure. Action, yeah. they have it. So, yeah, Brotherhood of the Wolf. We have it. We have it in our in our um, in, in our, our list. In our list to watch. Now, um, who was it? Um, Tommaso, uh, did you was was that on Netflix or on? Amazon or Hulu, can you tell us where they're showing that movie, Brotherhood of the Wolf? Because we, I, I like by what you're saying, it looks interesting. Let us know, that way it's easier for us to find it. If you know where they're showing it. Le Pac de Loup. Yeah, that's why, you know, we have a few of the other ones that we got for free with Verizon just because sometimes Netflix, you know, you, you, you're limited kind of of the things that you can watch. I'm trying to get the picture. Oh, there it is. I'm going to show you the picture of the movie so you see which one I'm talking about. This is pretty big, so I think that... Which one is that one? That's Gringo. Gringo, okay. That's what the... Those are the actors, Charlie, Sarah, and... Check it out, definitely super funny, a lot of action, really good. Is there somebody has Netflix and watch the same shows all the yeah. time? <laughs> yeah, I know. I watch the yeah, same I know. shows all the time, yeah. If you just go there and you're like, there's nothing, but this Amazon is actually making their own movies. That's probably why I'm catching a lot of... Uh, Rusty say, cool nails, Lady Fire. Oh, did you? Those were for the game. Those were for the game. <laughs> we went. I don't think you watch it that far. We went to the to the Gator football game, so we were all Gator up in orange and blue and white. Yes. I 
Criterion streaming device. I never heard of that. Have you? Criterion? If I wasn't, I would get the Criterion thing. Oh. Hmm. What is that? Is that a movie? Oh, the Criterion streaming service. Okay. Oh. Somebody's yeah. saying very nice for one, but I don't know what, what, what they're talking about. But winning about what? Who won? Let's see, Rusty. What are you talking about? Oh, who won? The game. The Gators oh, won. Yeah, yeah, Gator. Go, Gator. My team won. Then, I practice a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> go, Gator. Yeah. So, change every month. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's true. So, well, yeah, Gators. <laughs> so, we were, yeah, that's why we, we kind of go in between Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix. Apple TV, Apple Disney, oh, and Disney. What? Yeah. You know what's coming really soon? What? The oh, Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Yeah, we watched that series, so we can't wait for that. We cannot wait for that. Do you have that over there? Um, can you get you get Netflix on in Europe? You're in Israel, right, Eden? That's awesome that, that all this stuff is, is, you know, you think that only here in the U.S., but there, there's everything. Cyrus Shaw is in the house. How are you? Hi, Cyrus. We are here enjoying some Father Dempsey that we never had for all, forever, and it's really good. It's smoky. It's smooth. It's actually... It also have the rough edges like some the one that we had just before this one, so we're definitely enjoying it. Okay, I wanna I wanna ask you. I don't know if you know about the shoutouts that we did last week. Mm -hmm. We did uh, like four of them, mm -hmm. and one of them was did James Burroughs did his his video, his introduction video. You know? No, he he did the um, no James Burroughs was the one that was doing the. Uh, Oh wait a minute! He was the hundred the golf. The, the, the golf yeah. for, for the food. Yeah, and that's still still it's going. It's still going. On. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I wanted to know. Okay, and then it was parsimonious Piper. Even was he doing the what was he doing? Yeah. Was he the, uh, the movie. No, he was doing a golf too. He was doing the five hundred. Five hundred. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And still, that one still going it's on. It's still going. Okay, and then Cat that Piper was doing his one hundred. Yeah, I think was, I think he did a um, he did the drawing already. I think it was mm -hmm. today. I think I saw it as I was coming in here, yeah. The one I was talking about is the long wolf fiber. The first <laughs> that's the one. Rusty said, we're a Seminole fan, just the Gators. Yeah, just the Gators, because they're actually the rivals. You know, the University of Florida is the Gators, and then you have the Florida State, which is in Tallahassee, and they're the rivals. So if you're a fan of one, the other one is your rival. Kind of, uh, you know, they're just like there's, you know, football team rivals and soccer team and all that. Same way. Gators and Seminoles are rivals. Yeah. Okay. My last question is two truths and a lie. Oh, I don't know if you guys have been following the two truths and a lie, but everybody's been doing the reveals and uh, doing the videos and, and revealing which one was the truth and the lie. Did anybody see our videos about the two truths and a lie? We haven't done a reveal, but we can do it today. We can do it today. We can do it right now. Let me see remember what all the lies have been. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back and say, okay, what did I say first? Yeah. Let me, I remember what I did. Well, what let's see. Done. First, let's see if anybody. Yeah, I'm not going to say just is, yet. Is there anybody here that saw the video that we did on the truth, truth, and a lie? To try to, you guys have to guess which of the three things we said was the lie. All right, so Ed saw it. Uh, Eden has, has not seen him. Yeah, Boris, exactly. I was about to say that. So if you have Netflix and you're not in the U.S., if you, have B, if you do a VPN so they don't know, you know, they can't track you, you actually can see things from other countries because Netflix doesn't know where you're streaming it from. So that's a trick. Of course, most VPNs cost something i don't know if there's some free ones boris might tell you but um that's a way to trick the system and you can watch netflix shows that are here from the u.s even though you're in israel or somewhere else so yeah right on boris you you're right with that one did any of you did the 
two truths and a lie. Yeah. That's did, what I want to know. Did any of you did it? Did any of them do the two? Let me see. I think. I don't know. Scott, did, did you do a video? I don't know if anybody here did it that I can remember, that I can recall. Yeah, Eden, you should get a, a VPN. Yeah, I think that's that's going to expand how much you can see for sure. Yeah, you can yeah, you can put it on the phones and everything. Yeah. And you know, it's it's you know, you feel secure because that way people can can track you, which is which is is in this day and age is a good thing. Yeah. So Ed did the two, the two truth and a lie. Oh. And um, and Burger J Burger J did it too. Okay. Through it is good. All right. All right. So do you want to reveal yours? Maybe I should just tell them and they can guess, because most of them have not seen it. All right, well, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. So since most of you haven't seen it, we'll do it right now and see if you guys can guess and then we'll, we'll reveal it. This is not the order that I said it. This two, uh, well, let me tell you this. This thing was for Parsimonious Piper yes. giveaway. That was the whole reason behind it. He wanted you to do like, say three things. One of them be a lie and the other ones to be the truth. And then people have to guess. And if you did it, you know, and, and nobody guessed that you get an extra entry I think most people, of course, you know, there's only three things, so someone obviously guessed one of them. Um, so that was for Parsimonious Piper mm -hmm. giveaway. So go ahead. She's going to say her three truths, and one of them is not going to be a truth. So. Two truths and a lie. All right, you go. You okay. Look at the camera right, right there. Oh, well, I have to read. Oh, you have to read. <laughs> I have to remember what I think. <laughs> All right, okay. try to guess it. I'll close uh, mine. No. Okay, All right. no. Just don't I won't give it away. Do poker face. I'll do poker face. All right. How's your poker face? <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. I don't like that face. Just you don't like it. Well, you you're too go. serious and you're never that serious. Okay. It's just odd to me. You want a poker face. All, All right. right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the three things that I said, and I remember now the order that I said it. And so you can tell me. You can tell us yours and we can guess also. Let's have fun here. All right. So the number one thing that I said was that I am a professional makeup artist. And the number two thing that I said was that I was a runway model. And number three I said was that I was a lead singer in a church. So those were my one, two, three. My one, makeup artist. I was, oh, I am a makeup artist. Number two, I was a runway model. And number three, uh, lead singer and church. So which one do you think is the last? All right, you number only one, get- Number one, number two, or number three? You only get one- You one, only get one shot. One guess. Come everybody, give, give your best shot and see if you can tell which of those is a lie. Scott said, he said, I did the two truth in a guy. And I lie. And right. <laughs> Scott did it and then he forgot because I knew, I, I thought I saw it. All right, so we have Eden says one. I'm going to write it down so I remember. And Number one. Hello, okay. and ENA's dad. Yay! How are you? I always say your, your, your channel name wrong, but it's ENA's dad, right? All right? So he's here, so he says one. I think number one is the lie. That was my five and I. Uh, Enos dad says number one is the lie. Rusty says number three. Rusty says number three is the lie. Okay. Uh, Burger says. Makeup artist is the lie. Was that number one? That's number one. Okay. Uh, Pipe Brazil says number two is the lie. Uh, uh, Scott at the 16th says number three is the lie. Cyrus says number three is the lie. All right, have. is that it? I will give it so one. I have to send you guys some. Oh, <laughs> Briar Fox. Send oh, it Briar away. Fox. Yes. Just in case we, we we can probably. All right, mindful Mike. I'm gonna. You know I email I email flatcappiper at aol.com. I mean, flatcappiper at aol. Yeah, I said it right. At aol.com. Right. So um, I'll put it right here, and then I'll send you my, my address, all right? Boris says number three is the lot. Okay. You 
you get it? My first row, I, I try to send it. All right, so Mike, just send me an email there and we'll, we'll share addresses and if there's something you want, I can, I can send you something. All right, so big country hey, virus in the yeah. house. Woo -woo. We're playing two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. We're actually going through what we did at for Parsimonious Piper's Gall. And uh, let's see, we have a few people that guessed it correctly. So we had actually one, two, three, three of you guessed it correctly and the rest of you did not. Big country, you wanna play along? So. Okay, so we, we're talking about the two truths and a lie. And I just uh, told them a few minutes ago that I was a run, uh, let me say, the number one, I put it in a different order. Number one that I put at the end of the video is that I am a makeup artist. Okay. And then I said that I was a runway model. And then number three, I said that I was a lead singer in a choir or in a, in a church. All right, so big country, if you want to pay along, you can say one, two, or three. And if not, we'll just reveal it in a few seconds. And then you'll do yours. Yours is good. And you do, and I'll do mine. Okay. <laughs> And there's a, if you guys write two truths and a lie, um, VR to Parsimonious Piper, you see a bunch of people participated. Look for those videos. They're kind of fun, you know, and you get to guess. And then a lot of them just did a reveal video afterwards yeah. and told you which one was the lie. Walter. And, and we don't have to do the reveal video, but we're doing it right here. We're doing it here. Right here, right now. So there you go. Whoever didn't see the lie, missed out. <laughs> All right, so Walter's in the house. All hey, right. Walter. So we're gonna do the reveal. So, uh, uh, oh, there you go. Big country said number, said, one, is number one is a lie. All right, so let's start with the truth. Which which one of those was for real? Truth. The truth. Okay. Yeah. The truth was that I was a lead singer at a church. All right, so number three that was, was actually true. So everybody has said number three. No. Eh. Survey says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which 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 another one was the truth, and then we'll say the lie at the end. I was the wrong way model. And she was the wrong way model. When I was young. When she was yeah, young. How kid. how old were you? I think I was fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I was very young. 14, and 15, so the lie obviously was. Makeup artist. She's not a professional I makeup am artist. Not a prof Oh oh, God, although you do a really good job. I, I thought that they would believe that. I, I, would, would, believe I that. would believe it for sure. So four of you got it correctly. Big Country got it correct. Eden got it correct. Rusty. No, no. Um, board. Anybody that says makeup, make, makeup artist yeah. got it correct. We had four, that was number one. We have four people who got it correct. And in it, ENA's dad got it correct. All right. Awesome. So let's do mine. Do I remember what mine were? I remember your, no, yeah, I remember okay, so some let's, of them. Let's see if I can, if you I can write them down so you see if, I, see if I can do it from, from memory. Let me see, yeah, or write them down. Write them down so you okay. remember, because I have to write it down so I can <laughs> my memory. All right, you say hi to people what, 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 I, what I can, what I write it. Thank you, yeah, beauty and skills, that's for sure. Thank you. Oh, he's, um, my pipe and I says, I knew by your face when you read it. Oh, darn it. I, I was trying to Oh, you. you gave it away. Did I give it away? I thought I didn't. Man, I suck at poker face. <laughs> I should have covered my face. <laughs> oh, aromatics is working. Thank you for being here. He's just faithful. Again, text. Well, you can hear us. That's important, and we welcome. Thank you so much for being in the house. That's all right. You, you. That's all right, Armand. <laughs> I'm not gonna. That's all right. Just, just enjoy it. We're, we're doing the two truths and a lie. So two truths and a lie. I, you know, I, that's hard for me to say. It's two truths and a lie. It's, it's a tongue say, twister. Say, say, say buttons. No, I can't say it. <laughs> buttons. I, I can't say it. <laughs> All right, well, you messing me up. All right, so. 
Sorry. One, two. Let's see. What was the third thing that I had here? Uh, okay. Run is in the house. Hello, hello. All right. You remember? I remember. Oh, thank God. All right. So we're ready. So these are my. I'm not gonna look. Don't look at them. They no, figure I, it out. I have to look in there. Well, maybe they'll figure it out. So these are my. <laughs> <laughs> this are But don't laugh. Ah, you're gonna give it away. Now you need to. <laughs> you need to do the poker face thing. So, okay, I'll, I'll do this. So this, this were my the ones that I set for the for the goal. So again, this is not something I came up with right now. I set it for the goal. So number one. I have a dog named Uno <laughs> because he only has one testicle. All right, that's number one. You see, and now, now I'm gonna laugh at each one of them. All right, number two. I swam across a lake that was a two football field length full of alligators. All right, that's number two. And number three, I have three brothers and we all have the same first name all right which one of those is the lie before she she, she goes crazy here <laughs> laughing once the laughing noise hits you you're done right <laughs> all right oh. okay I've been doing something. so uno people say uno scott says number one eden says number one all right and is that sense number one. Borger says this one about swimming, that was number two. Walter says number three. Ed says number two, the one about the swimming across the lake full of alligators. All right. Hey Ron, how are you? I didn't see you before, so I'm saying hi to you now. Cyrus says number two. Big, Big Country, Country Bryant says three brothers with the same first name is a lie. Uh, <laughs> Eden says the swing is so unlikely that it must be likely. <laughs> it must be true. Raymond, how are you, Raymond? Hey! Nice for you to join us. I haven't seen you in one of our lives, so welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, Raymond says number one is the lie, four is number three, and Pipe Brazil number three. All right, so let me see how many people got it right. Keep guessing. I say... Oh, I should have made, done a tally. No, that's okay. I can see it right here. Uh, let's see. All right. One, two, three people got it right. Okay. Keep guessing, I'll give you a few more seconds and then, then I'll tell you which one was the lie. This stuff was good, guys. This Father Dempsey definitely got my approval. Mine kept turning off. I, I, you know what, this one was burning really good. If, if you want, I can get this one started for you. Because I'm about to try oh, the, the last thing. It's, it's, it's way down there, almost down to the... Ines that says number two. Three strings piper says number three and Johnny number three. Any more guesses? Did your slide up? Yeah, but it, it always just goes out. All right. All right, so I'm gonna reveal it. I think that's all the guesses. So, and then on our honor system, tell us who, which one of you actually guessed both hers and mine. I, I wanna know. If not, we can also always tally it, but Big Country Briar, he wants to change your guess. Okay, go ahead, change it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead, I'll give you a chance to change it if you want. But this is it, I'm gonna about to say it. And then tell us, when I reveal, tell us, again, on the honor system, of course I can check, but tell us who got both hers and mine.
All right. BCB, you're going to change your guess? I'm giving you a chance. All right, he changed it to number two is the lie. All right, good. So I'm going to start with the truth first. And here we go. So one thing that was true was... Oh, wait a minute. And it says, says I changed mine. He, he changed his. Okay, right. that's okay. So your last thing was two. Yeah, I got you there. All right. So for everybody that changed to two, you were wrong. That was actually true. I had to swim, not by choice, <laughs> in, in a lake full of alligators. And I'll tell you the story kind of short. I was stranded in the middle of a lake at night and I was I was in a youth group you know it was just I was really young I think I was around 17 years old and we had gone out well that is you don't know what you're doing I know I've gone out with a friend do you guys have a friend that any time you go out with them something bad happens I had that friend every time I went out with him something terrible happened he was one of those people that either he wanted to get into a fight or uh, this time he forgot to tell me that this boat did not have the little dial that tells you where the gas is full or empty. And so here we are. Are you still <laughs> friends with this guy? Oh, no. no, that was the last time I went out with him. Because this, you have two of those friends. Yeah, your father-in-law. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. And, and after this, he told me that he had another boat that caught on fire. So. <laughs> That's what I said. You know what? That's it. I I'm like you. I like you as a friend, but we're not going out live. anymore. I want to live. So anyway, long story short, this guy goes on. We go on a boat. We take out two ladies, and these were the the daughters of the pastor of the church. So we had the pastor's daughters in our boat, a boat that does not tell you the dial, you know. And it was uh, three of us there, you know, the crazy guy, his brother, and me. And so the boat was out of gas, we're in the middle of the lake, and this crazy guy starts, he has one paddle, and he tries to turn around the boat with the paddle and goes like that and breaks the paddle. So now we have zero paddles, and it's already nighttime. And again, we have the daughters of the pastors with us there. This was not gonna look good. So of course, the younger guy says, oh, I'll stay in the boat <laughs> with them, <laughs> you know. And so it was, you know, the owner of the boat who was a crazy guy and me who said, okay, well, we're going to swim to shore and find help. And so it wasn't because I wanted to, but we had to swim. This, this uh, lake in Florida is known for being full of alligators. And as I was swimming, every time some, like, leaf brushed my leg, I said, I was like, <laughs> I thought it was gone, you know, but I kept on swimming. I didn't look to the side or nothing. I didn't even want to open my eyes. Because if I saw two little lights like that, I knew it was an alligator. But anyway, none of us got killed. We, we rescued, and it was a happy ending at the end. But there you go. Number two was true. So, uh, yeah, swimming with gators is normal. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Says if your friend's name Jose Cuervo by any chance. <laughs> no, but um, let me tell you, he was something else. Very nice guy, of course. All right, the other truth was number one. Number one is actually true. I have a dog named Uno. He actually grew with, <laughs> he was born with only one testicle. And Uno is Spanish and for one. Exactly, and Uno is Spanish for one. So we named him Uno because of that. So, of course, he was a funny. So the lie was number three. And I do have two brothers with the same first name as me. But of course, I made it a little tricky and I said three brothers and I only have two. But they are named, they have the same first name as I. So, thanks for participating. Who, who got both right? Let's see. Who got both hers and mine right? That means that for me, you have to guess number three and for her, you have to guess number one. <laughs> he says that. Leaf brush his leg and pass Michael Phelps. Oh yeah, I swam. I think you would have won. I swam, I'm telling you, it was two football field lanes and I've swam that thing pretty fast. I, I think I, I, I broke I a record was, that day. I think that was the first one. I was scared, my eyes was closed, and I said, you know, I gotta swim fast in case I only have to swim with one leg. I need to be close. I think you gonna swim with one leg. I don't know, <laughs> but I thought it was gonna be, come on. I was oh taking it for granted. God. I was gonna be bitten or something, but oh. nothing happened. 
Yeah, it was a dirty trick with the three brothers. Anyway, so who got them all right? So let's see. Yeah, big country bride, you change it, so too bad. So Johnny got this one right and three strings and Pipe Brazil and Boris. So did you guys get hers? You're gonna have to be honest. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go up here, you? yeah. Oh, let's see. The only people that got hers right was Ina's dad, and he changed it. And who else got yours right? Nothing's seen it. Borger got yours right. And nobody got both. Oh, man. All right. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, that was, that was a good game. Dang it. All right. Wait, you know what? We should do something like this next time. This was fun. This was fun. And maybe, oh, let me, uh, wait. maybe, um, maybe we can play again next time and, and give, give a gift to whoever can give both of us. Yeah, I, I wanted to show them the picture of the movie, all right. of the flick of the week for this week. So sure. if you're looking, you can find it. Go ahead. Go, uh, go closer to the camera. Monsters of Men. Hopefully I don't fall. There you go. That's what the. That's the recommendation this week. That's this what the is. title, whatever shot looks like. Yep, yep. So guys, hey, it's 8:15. We usually like to end before 8:30 because Nashville Mafia starts at that time. Just in case you need to go to the restroom, do the yeah. popcorn thing. Take a break if you. I I just don't wanna. If anybody's a fan of them, I don't want to kind of take you away from going to see them. Today, I think uh, I heard Willie is going to be doing solo again. Tennessee Piper, Night Piper won't be there with him. Don't leave him lonely. Don't leave him lonely. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thanks for having fun. Next week, uh, Popping the Tin is, is changing to 8 o'clock at night. All right? So we, we're going to do it at 8 o'clock for a little bit and see how that goes. So sorry for the ones that that's kind of late. Um, but six is, is, is kind of a little too early, early for early, us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So popping the thing is at eight. All of these things are, rec you know, you can see them later, obviously. But of course, if you can be there live and that chat with us, yes. it will be awesome. Yeah, we'll look forward to we're going to keep the Wednesday live at seven. And remember, next week, we're going to do the, the smoke ring. So we'll start at seven. We'll get warmed up. And by eight o'clock, we'll turn off the fans off and we'll, we'll blow smoke rings with everybody around the world. So I hope you guys can join us and, uh, and have fun with us. Yeah. Right. And if you watch the movie, we want to know. We want to yeah, know if you, if you got to see Monsters of Men. And tell us what you think about it. And again, if I take just a minute just to thank you guys for being here and sharing this time with us. It's a pleasure as always. If you are a new uh, viewer, if you would like, if you like the content, would you please subscribe? Give us some thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Are we done? Well, we have something here for Big Country Bar. It says that okay. Brian Doran posted his family is suffering through sickness okay. and could use everyone posting on his channel. Okay, so oh, does okay. he want us to like post uh, prayers with your family? Brian Doran is the one from the Virtual Pipe Club, correct? Is that correct, Big Country Bar? It's from the Virtual Pipe Club. And if that's a, you know, we'll wait. But anyway, I'll look him up. I think that's who you're talking about, Brian Doran. Uh, oh, that's Beans 316. Oh, no. Beans, the one that we met at the Ohio Pipe Show, the tall guy. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, definitely. I'll, I'll go and post oh, something in his God. channel for sure. Okay. So his channel name is Beans 316, just like Big Country right road there beans 316 that's the that's the um channel name all right so we'll go there and we'll wish him well and we'll we'll pray for him thank you big country prior for letting us know that and uh thanks you guys for joining us look at the back the credits are rolling we just finished as the movie finished <laughs> look at look look that for timing <laughs> You say bye to them and I'll turn off the camera. Thank you so much, guys, again for being with us and spending this time with us. We will see you next Monday and Wednesday. Don't forget us. As I always say, thumbs up before you go 